the end. For the mandible extractions, we have a universal physics forcea. Now in the molar area, there is a third molar forcea that we can use, but the technique is the same. We're going to go ahead and flatten the lingual surface of the root four, five, six millimeters down and keep the bumper as far down in the vestibule as possible to do atraumatic extractions. Now here it's very important because my plan is to immediately place some implants. So we want to maintain that, that buccal bone as much as possible. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and flatten the surfaces as we did before. We have a couple really badly decayed teeth here. Okay, so same process where we're getting as far back as possible. Now if you could lift your chin up a little bit for me, good and a little bit more, way up in the air, your chin. There you go. You need a little room for your wrist to rotate. We're doing the cuspid, and just real slow chin up again. Chin up again. And I'm just using rotating pressure again. You heard this little snap. Oh, look at that. And that tooth just broke apart. It's so rotted. And suction that little piece. Wow, look at that. A traumatic extraction of a very long rooted cuspid tooth that coronally is excessively decayed.